Hello gorgeous Libra, welcome to your monthly reading for January. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you for the month ahead. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. And this is how you will get the most out of the reading. So keep a look out for any messages, any signs, any images that stand out for you because that is where the message lies for you. Let's take a look at this first card, playfulness. You have a playful and loving soul. Your playfulness is contagious to all around you. Your friends and peers appreciate your caring attitude. Life is supposed to be good. Have fun and play your way through the good and the bad. So no matter what this coming month brings, Spirit is suggesting that you maintain this attitude of playfulness. It doesn't matter whether it's good or bad, the situations, the emotions that you're going through, no matter what is happening in your external life. Maintain this playfulness and it's going to bring the best energy forward for you. So that's a nice energy to receive, actually. Contentment. Life is good. Everything is on track. Feel at one with who you are. We enter this planet with a knowing that everything is good. Be happy and content. Move forward in this knowing. Your gift of complete knowing gives others around you the feeling of ease. So there will be contentment that flows into your life this month. You will feel content. And this will be extremely an extremely positive thing if you have not been feeling this energy, if you have been feeling tension, if you have not been feeling settled. This energy is coming in this month for you. It will enter your life. You will be able to live in this vibration. So this may be a relief. It may be something you're looking forward to, Libra. Contentment is on the way. And it might not be a general energy for you, meaning it might not be contentment in all areas of life. It might be in an area of life that has been particularly tumultuous and topsy-turvy recently. So let's see what these two cards say. So we have moss agate and water. So water, you may have a water sign around you that's significant this month. Maybe a Cancer or a Scorpio or it might be a Pisces. And the keywords here are emotional, intuition, psychic powers and healing. So there's healing here for you, physical, emotional or mental. You will know what type of healing you need and you'll be able to you'll be able to use this energy. It's available to you. So if you go seeking a cure, an answer for anything health related, um, whether it's emotional or mental or physical, you're going to receive some answers here. Intuition and psychic abilities go hand in hand with water. That's a symbol for it. So there's an opportunity here for you to connect in fully to your intuition, connect in fully to your psychic powers, your visualization abilities, and um, you may receive clairvoyant visions. You may receive or hear clairaudient sounds, messages, words. So remain open to this. And if you are practicing it, if you are already involved or looking to study it and to develop it, then the energy is here. It's supporting you wholeheartedly this month. Moss Agate, new beginnings, nature connection, animal allies and security. So new beginnings are here, which is nice. New beginnings. It does mean there's an ending that's happened recently or about to happen. An ending and a new beginning is what Spirit is telling me. Being very connected to animals and your pets or nature is coming through very strongly. There may be a focus on or an intention toward an animal. Um, nature connection, nature, animals 
connection in on that level is important this month. Animal communication, because we have psychic energy here, that's possible. Let's see what this card reveals for you. Consciousness, okay. There is a higher consciousness that breathes through all of life. Connect to the peaceful and spacious life force within. Feel your inherent, shared and sacred power and find ways to consciously raise the vibration of your being. This month it's up to you to find the to find the way forward to consciously ri uh, raise the vibration of a situation, of a conversation, of something that happens day to day. It's up to you. You get to choose where your consciousness lies. And if your consciousness shifts, if your consciousness shifts to a more positive vibration, then the whole situation is going to change. As if by magic, okay, it's going to happen that suddenly, that miraculously. Get ready for magic to happen in this area of your life because that's what will take place if you shift your consciousness, raise your vibration in an instant where the energy is not supporting that type of vibration. So it's going to come from you. The zebra and the whale... Okay, so the zebra, become one with the herd. So going with, going with the herd, going with the crowd doesn't mean you lose your individuality or your uniqueness. It just means you're working with others or it means there's a friendship group or a community that's, um, that you're connected to. So that is available to you or that's what you are involved in in the coming month. And the whale, we sing our song of love. Now I'm seeing a romantic relationship here. That may resonate for some. I'm seeing a new relationship or an established relationship that's going to deepen. And there's a lot of love between you both. It may mean that it's a family connection as well. It doesn't have to be romantic, but I do see that for some. But there is love. There is love might be in a family unit or might be with friends, might be with the, the herd, the group of friends, perhaps. But there's um, great harmony here and you're all connected in love. It's a genuine thing. Let's see what this deck reveals for you, Libra. Guidance for Libra. Let's see. Guidance for Libra. Okay, let's see what these cards reveal. All right, this one here, the center one. Let's see. Okay, so the five of swords. The five of swords is a win-lose. It is not a win-win situation. You're involved with something or someone this month where it's not conducive, it's not harmonious to a good outcome. You might need to step away for a minute. You might need to take a step back from this person or this situation. It might be the ending that's taking place before the new beginning that is being shown on the Moss Agate card. An ending because someone or a situation here is not, it's not supportive of you. It's not supportive of what you think or what you're doing. It's just not supportive. So I do feel that for the most part, it's going to mean new beginnings need to happen here with this situation so there's not a stalemate anymore so you can move forward in a positive way for you the king of cups and this is someone who is open emotionally someone who's open emotionally toward you Someone who has great compassion, a lot of water here, a lot of emotional things going on here with water. And then you have a person here involved with you. That's also a water sign or, in, you know, emotional. So this may be a love interest. Um, there's deep emotions happening between you and this individual, whoever this is. Deep emotions uh, might be connected into this energy, of course, which is um, not so good. Not so good. Um, so let's see what the next card is. 
it's retreating away. Okay, interesting. So I do see a lot of emotional upheaval, a lot of emotional energy. This person is quite compassionate and open hearted towards you, though. But there is also an element of there might be a lot of history here with this person. And there is this element of having it over you, being difficult with what they're saying to you. I'm seeing that there's a retreat. The hermit is about retreating away. It's about limiting communication. It's about limiting contact. And you may need to do this for self-preservation. You may need to do this to gain calm emotions and to remove yourself from the turmoil and the emotional roller coaster that this whole situation may be bringing into your life. And I think that it's going to bring contentment because we have contentment up here and it's touching on the hermit. So if you're able to walk away, move away, it not it doesn't have to be permanently, but just move away from the conflict or the person or the situation that is controlling or trying to make it a win-lose rather than a win-win. The chariot, this is Cancer's card, so you may have a Cancer around you, significant in your life. The chariot is about, um, it's about willpower, it's about you having willpower, you moving forward in a good way for yourself. And if you feel that you want to say something or take some kind of action with the chariot showing up, you definitely will be doing that. Connected to your intuition, absolutely, yes you are, and that is also being said here with this card, your intuition and psychic powers are, are on point. So if you feel you need to go into some kind of, um, if you feel you need to go into some kind of battle, because that's what the chariot is, it's like a, a war horse kind of going into battle, um, if you feel like you need to do this with someone, then if your intuition is telling you it's the right thing to do, go for it. Um, it looks like you'll have a good outcome here. It means that there's going to be some kind of breakthrough to this stagnation or this control or this win-lose. So it looks like there is some kind of action needing to take place by you or you're going to decide to do that. But then there's also an energy of contentment with withdrawing away. So perhaps something is said, but then after that, you've said your piece and you're going to withdraw. That's possible. The two of pentacles, it's kind of up in the air. Things are moving. There are moving pieces to the puzzle. It's not set in stone yet. That's the scenario. That's the energy surrounding this person, this relationship, whatever um, area of life this reading represents for you it's up in the air there's there's moving parts it's not settled yet so what spirit is saying to remain as grounded as you can um, really look to a new fresh beginning this month um, connect with love connect with consciousness um, connect to the person with consciousness connect with yourself with a consciousness a greater awareness of what's really going on Raise your vibration, even if a conversation or a um, situation does not have high vibe, you make that choice and there will be contentment in retreating or following your own light or doing something to maintain your own light is what I'm seeing. So powerful energies here, Libra. I hope you've enjoyed the reading and that spirit has spoken to you and you've received some guidance that you need to hear right now for the month ahead. So stay blessed, Libra, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.